<clears throat> All right, guys. So this is Team Hard Life Captain Alex Tortuga, and here is another video. This is the second fish that we caught on the underwater go fish cam. Now, again, I have no control of how the camera lands on the bottom, so I'm doing my best to keep it upright and stuff like that. So as you can tell, the go fish cam logo is upside down because the camera ends up falling that way since it is. Uh, position that way with the leader and everything else now one of the things I do wanted to share on this video is several things actually one you know between this hit and the last hit the first fight that was that was I mean that was epic you know cast out and within a few minutes got an epic pickup really quick now you fish like everybody else fishes it's not guaranteed to get a pickup every single time or get a pickup in five minutes you know so my choice is do i leave the to total video uncut or do i cut it and make it shorter just so y'all can see the chaos that's going on underneath that is the problem i have to fight with myself and also for y'all's sake because i mean some people love to see everything that's going on. Others just want to get to the the good part. So this one I'm going to go ahead and leave totally uncut because it goes to show the amount of work that gets put into one video. I mean, there's a lot that can happen behind the scenes. And if we're, I'm cutting it all out or fast forwarding through it, you're not going to see everything that's happening. So that's one of the reasons why I'm leaving this video totally uncut and raw like the first one because it's it's going to show you that but also too you can see what's happening i mean it looks like it's a whirlwind of chaos and everything flying through and i mean maybe a hurricane kind of deal because debris seaweed you know even fish when they do come by are going pretty quick but at the same time too those quick jerk like effect that's because something is hitting the bait The other thing that I am noticing because I am using the Redfish long drops with the 100 pound test line on this actual camera right here, you can see where something has already picked it up and you heard it pick it up and you know it's moving it away. And that's one of the things that we always talk about how drums do. They'll sit there, inhale the bait and they'll just keep, they'll keep it in their mouth. They won't even swim off. So that goes point out something else i mean this fish has got in his mouth but is able to stay in place right there and i mean he's slowly drifting off and just holding the bait he's basically holding in his molars and he's crunching on it and you can hear and you can see those those effects so stay tuned i'm gonna go quiet for a bit so you can understand what's going on and then You'll notice when right before he does pick it up and take off to run with it, that's what's going on. He's sitting there crunching on it, and that's how he picks up the big blue crab that I have, or the half crab that I have on this bait.
So, as we're continuing to watch this uncut raw footage, you see a lot of the debris coming by, and you see the camera move and jerk occasionally. Um, it ha we can't find out or assume to say what it is that is making it move like that because we can't see the bait in place and stuff like that. What I'm also noticing too is that it's stuck in this position because the bait is not catching enough current to pull it in line with the, the camera so you can see what's going on. As you can tell, the current is going left instead of it going like right overhead. Now, I have the camera set up to where it's in line with the weight. So basically, the only way you can see it is if it is in line with the weight kind of deal. I mean, it sounds like an, uh, I'm repeating myself, but that's what's going on here. The only way for me to get it in line with the bait is to actually make the leader around the, the go fish cam. And what I mean by that is I would have to reconfigure the whole leader just to support the way the bait would be pulled by the current and then have it supported on the other side to be above or below where the weight would actually pull and keep tension on. Because obviously when we're throwing into these areas we are putting a surf weight or some kind of pyramid weight there so it can hold on this leader as this drum appears or I don't know it, it, it's kind of hard to see I slowed it down just so y'all can get an idea of what's going on but I also I sped this up because <clears throat> it's a good 25 minutes of you looking at all this water going by and stuff like that and I, I checked through it trying to see if I could see anything come by or you know see a fish went by or a school or something to give me any kind of hint of what's going on but one thing we did notice we didn't see a whole bunch of bait fish hovering over or swimming through so that was a really good sign and that's probably why we were able to target these bigger black drum but at the same time it's a sign that the big black drum were there and they got them all spooked off so we'll see how it goes here in just a bit and keep our bait in place but because this is not in line with the bait line it is basically recording where the weight is at so this is something else that you know I have learned now that we've actually hooked up because it's it's difficult to understand these things until you've actually gone through the whole motion and see what you're missing while you're doing this and also too maybe I didn't catch it but let's get back to this footage because it looks like the hit is about to happen so we'll see what happens in
something just flew by the camera and I didn't get a good look so I slowed it down as much as I can so that way we can see what it was this is all I could get Thank you. 